This is how you can skip the starter island and get more XP. And these are fruits that you should use for the most optimal XP methods. So if you want to know more and level up much faster keep watching. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shout out in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your favorite C. So. When it comes to leveling up you have 3 phases. Each phase is for each C of course. And even though every phase follows the same principle. Grinding quests, server hopping bosses and getting new items. They all have their own special tricks that can help you get through these phases much faster. So they are different. So let's start with the first C. The question is how do you optimize your XP gain when you start playing the game, Starter Island? Well your first goal should be to get an elemental fruit, something like magma or ice, smoke can do the job as well but it's very bad. Why do you need it? It will allow you to farm NPCs without them being able to hit you, you just need to be a bit higher level than them for this to work. So just get a good elemental fruit and don't bother around fighting styles and swords for now. Also. Your primary goal when it comes to fruits in the first C would be to get the light fruit because it's the best fruit for first C. So just keep that in mind and work towards getting it. Now what is the first C trick? Well if you didn't know there is actually a way for you to skip this starter island and move on to much better money making NPCs almost immediately. How? Well the answer lies in this fountain city island. You can take a free boat to get here by the way. So. The special thing about this island is that there are certain enemies that you can kill without them being able to hit you. And that enemies are these ones. You will need a gun or something to lure them to follow you. And just get to this wall. You will need to find a perfect spot where you can hit them and they can hit you. And for that perfect spot you just need to back off the wall a little bit. Just like I did it there. It should take you about 5 minutes to kill this NPC but you will get a ton of XP considering your current level, imagining that you are a starter. And when you reach around level 30 you can go to the pirate village and start grinding real enemies and server hopping the bobby boss. From there it's pretty straightforward just follow the compass and work towards getting the light fruit. And when you reach level 190 go to the prison and start server hopping the bosses here. They are pretty op and they give a ton of XP so it's really rewarding to server hop them. And after the prison you should already have a good elemental fruit, light, so just grind out to the second C like usual. Also. If you feel like your current quests are really hard and you're stuck you can always use a code but don't go too hard on them and use all of them in the first C. If you don't know codes will give you x2 xp for a certain period of time. So that should be the most optimal way to get through the first C levels. So now since you're in the second C thing will get much more interesting. So, light will not be the best fruit in the second C unlike it did in the first C. So what should you use? Well I guess you already know and it's Buddha. It's generally the best XP grinding fruit you can get. Also you will be using it in the third C as well so you won't need to worry about your fruits no more. It may take you some time to get Buddha, you can trade or just wait for it to be in stock. It will take you 2 to 3 days. Now Buddha in its normal form is pretty good but if you want to Imrap of its range and other buffs you will need to awaken it. But, you only need to awaken its shift ability, since it's the only one you're going to be using. So if you think you're skilled enough to take the Buddha raid by yourself go for it. But I recommend you to find yourself one or two people with Buddhas to help you. There are a bunch of Discord servers with people who are willing to help you. Now races, there is a slight chance, 12.5%, that you already have rabbit race. But if you're like most people you don't. So since you unlock trades and fragments it's the perfect time to start rerolling races for the rabbit race. You can reroll your race at the Tord NPC for 3k fragments. But why rabbit? Well when you are in Buddha form you will feel a lot slower than you actually are. So you will be in desperate need for speed. And if you don't know Rabbit is the fastest race in the game, so that's that. Also you should start saving up for Superhuman. In my opinion Superhuman is the best fighting style to pair up with Buddha for best XP gain. Now after some time you are going to reach the cursed ship. Why is that important you may ask? Well here you are going to buy your race and accessory that you are going to use till your max. And that's Ghoul Mask and Ghoul Race. Ghoul Race provides you with good agility. But what's more important is that both of them give you life leech which is insanely op. So you will have really high regeneration in raids for example so you will be able to solo every raid with ease. And to be honest they aren't really hard to get. You just have to grind out some NPCs here at the cursed ship to get enough ectoplasm and you're good to go. And all of this will set you up for the most optimal XP farming in the second C. Now third, last, C. Just like I previously said you will stick with Buddha and ghoul stuff. Only thing you should focus on in the third C is getting the god human. 
It's the best XP farming fighting style in my opinion. It's pretty hard to get it not gonna lie but the work pays off. Or, if you want to grind with sword you should get the Yama. It's really decent sword both for PvP and grinding. And when you are ready just follow the compass and grind the enemies out, pretty straightforward. Also another good tip. Try to defeat the RIP underscore Indra boss as soon as possible since you will unlock portals. So that if you're like me and you travel a lot between islands you will save a lot of time. Also keep server hopping bosses and utilizing the tips from previous seas. And you will be max in no time. Another tip that applies to all seas but only if you're rich. Also the best way to spend your robux if you want to max level as fast as possible. Is to buy the 2x xp. For let's say 100 robux you can have 2x xp for 1 hour in which you can earn over 100 levels. But since the xp boost saves even if you log out of the game you could buy 24 hours boost and it can fetch you through all seas. So that's definitely the most effective way to spend your robux in this game. If you don't know how to get certain fighting style or any item prompt this video check these videos out. Also if you find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful content. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.